Here we are. It's the 2nd of September. And it's the day after we have been, how shall I say, ejected, hmm, sent in our way from Chris's house, rather somewhat and unceremoniously. And I regret to characterize it that way, but I feel like it is somewhat accurate that we were asked to leave despite some circumstances which make it less than desirable to do so. For one thing, there's a typhoon on the way, and we were asked that we needed to leave despite a typhoon coming and despite us having no place to stay. Uh, fortunately, um, the miracle known as couch surfing has come to our aid and we have found a wonderful couple in the nearby city of Shizuoka City to take us in. We stayed with them last night and we'll stay with them again tonight. Uh, tonight is when the typhoon is supposed to come and hit land and is supposed to be, you know, the worst. Uh, so we're not totally without uh, resource, but we were we were asked to leave despite this, and uh, it's kind of sad to me because it shows that there was something that we did or were doing that was somehow not uh, not tolerable, and there was really a poor level of communication uh, in terms of what was re required to make things tolerable or why things were not exactly copacetic or friendly or in any case um, uh, okay between Lie, uh, Chris, and then myself and Katie. It seems like it was a situation where it was more of something that Lie was uncomfortable about because she um, came to Chris behind uh, uh, our backs and asked him to tell us that she's not comfortable or she would like to know when we're leaving and she would like us to leave soon. As soon as we got done with Mount Fuji, the day we got down from the mountain, we were allowed to rest and it was the day after that, so Tuesday. We get down from the mountain Monday morning, we rest all day Monday, sleep mostly, and then on Tuesday we are, we are asked when we're leaving. So it was pretty quick after Mount Fuji that that she was hoping we would go. Um, unfortunately, I got kind of sick, a combination probably of extreme fatigue from the mountain climb, as well as poor general nutrition um, that I have been experiencing since staying with them. Not by their fault necessarily, they are used to their own dietary lifestyle um, and I'm simply used to a different lifestyle which includes a lot more higher quantity of fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, they're used to a lot less, a lot more grain based, protein based and whereas I eat you know less protein and a higher amount of you know produce. So I don't blame them for it, but I, I recognized that my body needed something else. And so on Tuesday, I asked Lie to not uh, worry about me eating dinner with them because I needed to eat some other food to help my body recover. And uh, that was the start of when she started acting somewhat coldly or less friendly seeming towards me. And I don't know if I'm inferring things or not. This is in many ways conjecture on my part, so I don't know. However, that has uh, led to us leaving on Thursday, despite the typhoon being indicating that it would make landfall on Friday. Uh, but like I said, we got a couch surfing place, so we're going to be safe. It was frustrating and confusing in a way. But, life goes on. So, I hope 
there are no hard feelings about anything, and I hope that perhaps in the future, once there's been some space and time, maybe Chris uh, can communicate to me what the major grievances may have been. Um, I always appreciate and am willing to discuss grievances people have with each other uh, and with me and I do my very best not, not to take anything personally because there's little to do with with me in the, in the things that I do I feel anyway so that is that moving on um, the two people that Kate and I stayed at, stayed with last night, and whom we will be staying with tonight are Yanan, a very nice girl who's originally from China, and uh, Naman, who is a, a Sri Lankan man, and he is, uh, they both were going to the same college, incidentally the same college that Chris teaches at, and they met there. Um, and now they are a couple living together. Um, Naman has just started working full-time recently, while Yanan is still uh, studying. So they're not both in school anymore. But they're very, very kind, and both love travel and speak several languages, uh, including Japanese, English, Chinese, Sri Lankan, all that. And, uh been very hospitable to us and we are so fortunate to have met and found people like that. So we are here, Kate and I, in this park in the middle of Shizuoka City. It's called Sumpu, I believe. Sumpu Koen. Sumpu Park. And uh, it's an uncommon sounding name to me. I'd never heard something like it. But it's rather pretty, and there's actually a little uh, white castle, some old-fashioned Japanese castle, uh, right over this way. Can't really see it from this angle, but it's pretty, and it has some really interesting old wood beams, like from really old, thick trees. Um, but it's nice to get away from some of the stress that we've been dealing with the last several days regarding where we're going to go, why we have to go, oh, I'm sick and not feeling like I can ride my bike, oh, my tent is going to blow away in a typhoon, where are we going to go, you know, those sorts of stresses. So it's nice to be in a place where there's room to breathe and room to stretch the spirit, so to speak. So that's nice. Kate's doing a little stretching of her own right now. Let's see. Yes, so we are stretching our souls here, as it were. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna let that be that for now. Until next time, uh, here's our 2nd of September check-in, uh, surrounded by dragonflies in a little park in Shizuoka, awaiting a typhoon. And as soon as the typhoon passes, we're probably going to start heading back to Tokyo. Later.